One of the things about the uh, chalk prairies in central Georgia here in Houston County, Oakey Woods, is that they're dominated by a lot of grasses and wildflowers. Depending on the uh, season, uh, you can see arrays of yellow or blue or orange. What, right here in front of me now is one of the most characteristic of the prairie, uh, chalk prairie dominant plants. It's the yellow prairie coneflower. And sometimes during a, a wet summer, the, the whole prairie would be solid yellow with the yellow coneflowers. And there are many other little characteristic plants, some uh, a lot shorter than this one, like the little, the little bluets that are on the ground here, only four or five inches high. The glade bluets, the limestone glade bluets. Um, one reason the plants are so special here is because of the soil. The soil is a very uh, clayey soil that swells and expands depending on the moisture. And if you, if you dig into it, you can see how clayey it is because you can form it into all sorts of shapes. And all it takes is a little moisture to make this soil very, very sticky. It's full of little shell fragments, so the pH is high. It has a lot of calcium in it, little shell fragments all over the place. You can find shark's teeth and other kinds, sand dollar pieces and stuff, whale bones and things in the soil. So it was all under an ocean at one time, 20 to 40 million years ago. And um, so the soil makes, makes it possible for this peculiar vegetation which is not good for growing pine trees because the soil uh, shrinks and swells so often. It forms big cracks and breaks the roots of the pine trees apart so they don't grow on the prairie itself. What we have instead are, are a bunch of oaky woods around the prairies and then grassy vegetation in the prairies scattered with all sorts of composites and legumes. Yeah as part of the showy flora.